we're going to show you a 1934 Ford Australian built right hand drive. So I want to look at this 1934 Ford here. You can see the grill is good. We haven't cleaned on it or anything else, and so some of this stuff might clean off. It was detailed. I noticed right in here. This stuff, uh, when you wipe on it, it'll, it gets better. So you can see this grill is pretty decent that way. Chrome horns on there like it's supposed to be. These are the correct headlights for a 1934. And uh, you can see the chrome bumper looks decent. Oh, see, that's just a little grease right there. So you can't always tell. The paint, uh, right there you can see there's a chip right there. I thought it was a cut in the fender, but yeah, I can't feel anything on the inside at all. So I, I, I think it's just a scratch and I can see that this paint isn't this is anywhere close to show quality but it eyeballs most people don't notice it unless they get up really close to it the hood looks good we have the side uh, panels for it this engine has very few hours on it very few and you can even see down here the exhaust manifold down here Oop, I got my hand in the way anyway you can see it it's brand new I can see new head gasket right there even and you can see how clean it is. And it's got the, these lights on here. This windshield frame looks, uh, looks all good. This here's got some spots across here the, on the windshield itself. This top's got some dirt in it here. And again, we haven't cleaned on it or anything. This is just the way we got it in. And here, the leather, you can see the leather. You can see s some issues right here on the seat. But look on the front right here. You can see down low right there on the front of the leather seat. You can see where the wrap got into it. There's another couple of spots in the back. So we think right in here too they might have chewed a little bit. But you can look at the dash all looks real good. See how nice all that looks? It all looks good. The underside of this thing, uh, the top looks real good all the way across. I mean, there's just some old stuff on here in places. Oh, I didn't do that hard enough. The doors close real good. And this is not all there, but uh, there's no arm on the other side. And you can see this seat here. Oops, wait a minute, let me in here real fast. So right there, there's two more spots or three more spots where the rat got to it. It's too bad about that, but that was before Bob bought it. So anyway, you can see all that, all the rest of this looks good. I mean, the interior looks good. This door panel, did you just show them this door panel here? Door again closes good. You can see the running board, all, all this looks real good. I'm sure it's been replaced. It looks too good to not have been. And again, these fire stones, they're not real old. Again, you can see we haven't cleaned on it. It's got dirt on here and the tires and places. So we haven't done anything that way. Uh, and you get back here, you can see it looks pretty good. You can see right here, it's got these little uh, chips in the I, they're not chips, but that's from in the paint. I've seen that many times over the years where it just, uh, the, they don't do a good job prepping it before they paint it. And it, this trunk is like brand new. I mean, it looks brand new. The bumper looks real good on here. This back window here, it's got tarnish on it. Oh, and that may even clean off a bit. Again, we haven't touched it. Haven't done anything with it. You know, you can see we got the uh, gas gap, tail light right here, all this looks good. I mean, there, I have not have it on the, uh, there's a little spot here where this is whitened out a little bit. I can feel something on the inside right there, nothing on the outside particularly. So I don't know if it's anything major or anything that way. And again, it all, you can see how good all this looks on the back side of here and the seat and everything. And again, running board's all in great shape. 
And we got one oh, here. Here's the. I, I told you it was here. There's a radiator cap. I think it doesn't fit on here good. This looks like a brand new one, hardly been used. So I don't know if there's something wrong with the fit or not. But Andrew took it off because he didn't want to get hurt. So anyway, again, you can see the inside of here. It's all all good. Give him a shot of the top up on top here so you can see this side, outside. You can see up there. See, and I see some dirt right here a little bit. Some of that, a lot of that will clean off. It just accumulates some dirt. And you got the spare on this side with a mirror up on top here. So uh, you got a mirror on the wind, wind wings, both of them. And again, you can see how clean this looks. This wheel here looks all good and everything. These these lights are a little, both are a little dull. I don't know if they'll even come up without re-chroming them. And again, you look all through here, the engine compartment, everything. It all looks good. You can see we got a couple some little scratches right there. So it's not perfect by any manner of means. It's not like the 35 Ford that's awesome. Anyway, it's a it's a nice car. I forgot to I had to turn it on and I forgot to throw throw the switch to uh, turn it on. I think that the muffler, we haven't looked at it yet. We haven't put it up on the hoist, and I think the muffler is uh, a little noisy. Or uh, anyway, so go in the front there and let's uh, see if all the lights work and stuff. I mean, it started right up. If I had it, it would have started instantly. If I'd have had it. The lights working. We've been asked to put the top down and take some photos of it with the top down. The top has not been down on this car for many years. I don't know how many years. Uh, a good friend of mine, they bought it, uh, oh, God, five, ten years ago or so. They've never put the top down. They also have a 35 uh, Ford that they've had forever. They've never put the top down on that either. And uh, anyway, we don't know what we're doing particularly either, so if it look, gets a little flubbed up, that's just what's going to happen. But I think two of us can put it down without too much problem. It just It's just a big top. So first off, we got to go in here and un undo these uh, wing nuts underneath. And oh, you got to take them out. Oh, you got to take them all, almost all the way out. There we go, right here. There we go. down more it seems like I got mine down further <laughs> hey there it's going hey you got a pole in this area right here down to bring it down look at that how about that so this give you an idea what this looks like with the top down gives you a whole different look at it at the car Maybe we could get that a little tighter, I suppose, but we we didn't play with it too much. I maybe got to pull the canvas out, and you can get the thing down a little tighter. And again, I we don't have a uh, boot for this top, so uh, you know maybe pulling the canvas out here 
stuff would do something, but uh, anyway, it isn't too bad to put down, especially after we figured out how to, what to pull on to start with. And you got to start right here and pull this down to get it up in there. I'll walk under the 34 Ford and show you how nice it is under here. And look how nice that gas tank is. I didn't even really wipe on that thing at all. And the underside of this car is just nice all the way around. I mean, I, I tried to dust some of this and there was not much to even dust. So I think right up in there it was a little dusty looking. You can see where I had some water on there. I could have gotten a little cleaner, but the metal's all really solid in this car. I didn't see anything in the way of corrosion. Look how nicely those backing plates are painted. Nice wheels, nice wiring. So this is a Canadian built car for the Australian market. So it's got a lot of wood in the floor pans, whereas a US made car would not have that. But running boards are in great shape. Everything's very solid under here. Nice muff, muffler and tailpipe. All that metal, oh, I shouldn't say metal, but all the wood is solid there. The framework is all straight and solid. No corrosion anywhere. Got an Optima red top six volt battery. Cranks over really well. There's all the linkage for the brakes, the mechanical brakes. This thing stops just fine. I mean, it doesn't pull or anything one way or the other, and nothing locks up, so they're all adjusted up really well. There's the underside of the transmission, three speed transmission. This thing's all stock, obviously. Flathead, bottom of the flathead, nicely painted exhaust. Just a nice car all the way around. I mean, look at how clean it is up in the under, fender wells. Lots of rubber on the tires. All the front end parts are all nice and painted. Springs, axle, it's all nice. You can see the underside of the spare tire. I mean, that's not corroded or anything like that. It's all in good shape. They, you know, it's like one of those spots that likes to hold water and rust, but this thing's all in good shape. See how clean the engine is. I mean, it's all painted nice and green on the bottom side. Not much to show you. God, I mean, I, all the fasteners, like all those new fasteners on there. I mean, it's just a nice clean car. All, all those bolts and nuts look like they've been replaced recently. Same with those ones.
We are in Burlington, Washington, and we'd be more than happy to help you buy this 1934 Ford.